Sorry, guess what? What? My mailman is retiring. No. Oh. <laughs> you think you know somebody. You spend years and years forming a good relationship, a strong bond, and then they just retire on you. They leave. <sighs> With that old, old intro. <laughs> it's Tuesday, Tuesday, talk me. Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday, talk man, Tuesday. Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah. Yes. So, mailman's retiring. I got a, uh, um, I guess, retirement gift. So, I got an empty avocado box and filled it up with, like, sodas. He likes Arizona, uh, the energy drink one. Mm. Um, some chips, a tequila display bottle, like empty bottle, some shot glasses, and like a uh cowboy hat, not cowboy hat, but like those that you work with. So like, so when you're mowing the lawn, you can yeah. have this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, How long has he been your mailman for? Since I've been here, it's so like four or five years. Okay, he's really cool, and he's like, yeah, I'm retired. I go, well, what? Like, I don't think he, he said it. He didn't tell me any plans, but he, I was like, don't stress too much. <laughs> Sometimes those no plans are the best plans. Mm. I heard when's, his, that, when's his last day? Today today was his last day. Oh, today was. Uh, so I got a video with him because I'm like, I, I don't have any photos with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I took a video of him. He's like, uh, let me know when the photo's up. So I can suck, like, suck in my stomach. I'm like, okay, it's a video. <laughs> yeah. Gotta keep before. sucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think there were some changes with the post office. I don't know what changes there were. Mm. It was just like, he just had to retire. I'm like, oh, congrats. Because <laughs> it was like out of the bloom of like three months ago. He's like, yeah, I'm retiring this year. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Since when? When did that come from? <laughs> I guess it also could have just made, been a decision. Just like, hmm. mm-hmm. I'm done with it. Mm-hmm. I wonder what his next adventure is. Ooh, congrats on the Nuggets. Thank you. Thank you. I knew it was about to happen. Um, I never lost faith in my team. It was a pretty easy road. I knew it since the beginning of the season. Now it's just time to to close it out. I was hoping that history was going to happen and the Celtics were going to come back from being down 3-0, but that didn't happen. Um, but I think that it makes it easier for the Nuggets, the fact that they have to play the Heat. Um, uh-huh. I think the Celtics were... The better team. I think the Heat are better in the clutch, uh, like clutch moments, but I think the Celtics were overall just a better team, but they just couldn't pull it through. Um, but I think that this, the Nuggets have a very, very good shot of winning. What, oh, Tatum rolled his ankle the first play of the game? Yeah, oh, that's geez. rough. <laughs> Looks like he's only 25. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're saying like after that happened, it's like, that's just hard to come back from. It's like, yeah, I mean, roll the ankle within the first couple of minutes, then having to play the rest of the entire game. It's like, if it happens later in the game, you can hope that maybe your adrenaline pushes it through, but that probably only pushed you through for maybe the rest of the quarter. (laughs) It's not going to last for a whole game, but. Has he gotten a ring yet or no? No, right? No. Uh, last year, they made it to the finals, and they lost in the finals. So he, he hasn't had a ring yet. Uh, he's young, though. 25. Mm-hmm. Already been to the finals. Eh, we'll see what happens. I just hope I, I called the winner so that um, I can finally have a one point next to my name, since you're winning 2-0 two to, two to zero right now with our championship guesses. So I, I just need this. I need this really bad. <laughs> Who do you have for hockey? I don't even know who's in it. Who's in it? I just know um, the Florida team's in it. <laughs> oh, so is it the Panthers against the Vegas Knights then? Yep, Golden Knights. Golden it Knights is? are Saturday, June 3rd. Game 1, hmm. 7 p.m. I think the Knights are supposed to win. 
Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna go with the Panthers. I just think it'd be cool if the Panthers won. Yeah, I was like, if Miami and the Panthers both win. Oh, Florida's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? That would be a time to be a Florida resident for sure. <laughs> to be partying it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's summertime. Mm-hmm. How's That's Jimmy? something that Chicago will never have. And I, I, I own that. Nah. <laughs> but. Well, you guys had the Cubs win. And the what? Black Blackhawks won a couple years ago. Like several years ago. It's been, like, feel like 10 years ago at this point. It wasn't 10 yeah. years, but it feels like it. Let's see. Uh-huh. Blackhawks NHL championship. They won it in... Oh, this is depressing. It's last year we where where was that? I was just watching it. Twenty fifteen. Missed the playoffs. Missed the playoffs. Missed the playoffs. Lost the first round of the playoffs. Missed the playoffs. Missed the playoffs. <laughs> lost first round. Lost first round. <laughs> so it was twenty fifteen that we won it. So twenty fifteen was that twenty. 16 was the Cubs. Mm -hmm. The White Sox were 20, 2005. Mm -hmm. And then the Bulls were what? 97. (laughs) I want to say it was 97. I want to say when Jordan was uh, 90, 98. When Jordan was still playing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Yep. I think it's funny. It was 91, 92, 93. They didn't win it in 94. Then 95, 96, 97. Why didn't they win it in 94? I don't... There was, like, one weird time where I think he, like, took time off or something. He retired. Uh, Rumor rumor has it he was betting. (laughs) He had a gambling issue. Yeah. (laughs) That's that's our goat right there. That's a rumor. That's a rumor. (laughs) That's 100% true. There's videos of him uh, gambling with, like, his security team. Like, the mm. guy was just addicted to it. <laughs> right. And so, I'm guessing there's rules against that of basketball players betting. <laughs> would he, but, like, would he... he wasn't betting on the NBA. He was, okay. like, just in betting trouble from betting a lot on other things. Really? So, he, he just liked to bet on yeah. random stuff. Whether it was like horses or things like that, I don't think it was horses, but so much that like the NBA was like, you gotta stop this, you gotta take some time off for. Probably, yeah, or maybe it was just like he needed to get his priorities straight again or something mm-hmm. like that. That wouldn't mm-hmm. surprise me either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting, but hey, he came back, got three more wins, three more rings, and boom. I mean, he played with the uh, Chicago White Sox for a little bit, too. Really? He played, that. yeah, MLB baseball. <laughs> I don't know if he was actually good at it or uh-huh. if it was just kind of like a, he's decent enough, but it's cool to say that we have Michael Jordan. Definitely sold tickets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Coming off winning three championships in a row and then boom. Mm-hmm. We're going to go away. Baseball. Baseball. What? <laughs> How's your gym routine this week? Non-existent again. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I did read a 300-page book yesterday. Who? So. What book was it? It was called The Silent Patient. It was like a mystery novel or a mystery book. Uh-huh. Um, but my next book on the list is um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Classic. That one, yeah. So that one's my next one that I'll be gonna be reading. Mm-hmm. That's like one of the all-time self-help books. And then, fairly interesting. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, your books are the last books I need to read until I have read all of my books, and then I'll go to Barnes and Noble and buy some new ones. But I told Candace, I'm like, I really have to finish these books because I don't think I'm gonna have too much reading time here in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going through them pretty quickly <laughs> yeah well so I can get to a spot where I just get like hooked on books and then I go uh, I could just crank through some but uh, then I like I overdo it and so then I just get like 
bored of books and then I take a, a little bit of a break and then I'll have to get back into it again. Uh-huh. But Cause when you talked about reading the first book um, that I sent you, that was like a year after I sent it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so again, I, it, it, I, I go in little roller coaster <laughs> waves. So. <laughs> so I gotta send you them early now. I will send you as early as possible. No. Five at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I have no space on my bookshelf. You can see the bookshelf behind me. It's like completely full of books. I'm going to have to start moving some of my board games because I don't have any spots for my books anymore. Interesting. Yeah, but the, the next on the old to-do list is reading that. Um, I don't know why, but I saw a video of like, um, there's like a stitch of like, yeah, name something that could earn you like ten grand a month. That's that's legal, and this person was like Legos. <laughs> Apparently, they buy lots of Legos and then build them and sell them in like individual pieces or whatnot. Mm. And I don't know why I thought about you with like Legos. <laughs> I've got my Legos behind. <laughs> I wouldn't. But the thing is, though, with my Legos, like I like displaying them. Like I'm not mm. one of those people that I'm gonna sell them. Uh-huh. Um. And it's like, I don't know, I, I feel like connected to them. Like, it's like, I took the time to build this. But yeah, and I know with like the little mini figurines, some mm. of those things can get pricey if you sell those. But I'd be mm. one of those people that I'm like, no, I'm not selling it. I want it. It's mine. <laughs> so I'm too attached to it. No. I'm like, I would be the best slash worst collector if anybody ever wanted to buy anything that I had because I'd be like, no, I want it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did not. Yeah, I did not realize those little figurines mm-hmm. cost that much. And yeah, some of them can get up there because they'll be a part of like a discontinued set or something like that, so they're not making anymore. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't think I'll like. I don't know. Maybe if we move or something like that. But mm-hmm. you like to build I don't them? No, I don't. I, I I don't see myself like taking these apart and redoing them, but I also don't see myself taking them apart and selling them. I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So TBD. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure that you could make some money by selling it in individual pieces just because people like to build like random things with their Legos. And so they might need those one off pieces that are a part of a set. So it wouldn't surprise me if some of those sets get a little pricey just because they've got some, I guess random piece in there that people like. Mm. They go for hefty prices. Mm-hmm. I wonder what like the most expensive Lego piece is. You don't want to know. I'm only Google it now. Most expensive Lego brick. Oh, there is literally a solid gold brick that's fifteen thousand dollars, but I'm not counting that. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll do a mini figure. Solid gold C3PO for $200,000. <laughs> oh, it's a movie prop. That doesn't count. I want like... A normal one. Because these are all made out of like platinum, bronze, gold. Bronze. Okay. This one. Um... A black suit Superman estimated to be worth $4,400. There were only 200 of them created, and it was given out as a raffle prize in the 2013 San Diego Comic-Con. Mm. So it's just a Superman who's wearing a black suit and a black cape. <laughs> 44 Like, but again, if I had that, I don't think I would sell it. <laughs> I think I would proudly display that. I'd be like, yep, that little piece of plastic is worth $4,400. I probably wouldn't, like, advertise that, uh, uh-huh. but I would know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want to advertise it. People start breaking mm-hmm. into your home. Going mm-hmm. for your Legos. <laughs> Get your own Lego. <laughs> Have you thought about getting back into the card collecting game? Or are you taking a break from that? I'm taking a break from it. Oh, the only thing I've se- I occasionally see the prices of Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. That's the mm. only people who like, I actually like look into. Because Messi, he's all time. Mm-hmm. He'll definitely be up there. 
So seeing the prices um, range and then debating whether to go back in to get more messies or not. So probably not. Do you have messies? Yeah. I got a couple. Mm-hmm. Then. But the price has gone up, but then gone down. So like, mm. when when does it stop going down? Or like, when does it just like level out? Let's see. Yeah. Because some of those pieces went up for insane amounts. When mm-hmm. it was like at the peak. So it should be interesting. Same thing with like NFTs. NFTs also gone way down. I, I was gonna say you don't hear too much about NFTs anymore, really well, at all. I, I feel like the peak of them has kind of gone as of just like news coverage and stuff. Uh huh. Similar. Well, right now all the headlines are the lawsuits. Mm-hmm. They served Shaq um, his lawsuit because he also promoted an, another one of the brands or companies. They served him at the game. Oh, they according did? To, according to this uh, TikTok. <laughs> they saw him like, going past the game, served him. And then they served him. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw How are your is your like, world of women doing? <laughs> oh, but it's see it's not good. Not good. Not good. But it looks really nice. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, OpenSea, what are you doing? Yeah, same forever to load. Next, what is this? It's making you work for it. <laughs> I'm like, it can't be the internet speed now. So now that I, if, if anything is slow, <laughs> I just blame all the other connections. <laughs> <laughs> like we have this iPad that's like, we need to get a new iPad because that's it, it lags, and it just stays. Like is it a newer one. iPad or? It's an older one, like years. Mm-hmm. Like well, didn't big... Apple admit that they slowed down old products so that mm-hmm. people were forced to basically buy the new ones? Yeah, and that's what's happening with that one. Like, great. Cause sometimes we do, like, some... Charge, like, some phones on it. And mm-hmm. it just stays on, the, like, the loading. That's not always good. Do you use it for, like, I guess if people are swiping cards and stuff like that instead of a card reader, do you have one of those chips on it? Or is it mainly just there for one-off things? Just one-off things. Yeah. Then we just... I kind of figured if it's slow, you can't really use it for too much, like, functioning Mm shop-related stuff. Might be my laptop because my phone's good. <laughs> See, right now, whoa, they've gone to like point the floor price of World of Women are like 0.93. So, they haven't gone down to like 0.15. So, that's good. <laughs> yeah, but definitely not. What did you get it at? Did you get it at like 0.7? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think some points. Uh, I think one point seven, another one like point, yeah, one. Twelve one five around there. Mm-hmm. But I think what the peak for some of these were like the floor price was like ten eighth or fifteen eighth. Cool. It's like what? I would have yeah, sold the heck out of that. Oh, I could have yeah sold that was then came back to buy them right now. Oh, 
<laughs> what was the most? Didn't somebody offer you like a crazy amount for some of yours? Mm-hmm. Well, when the floor price was like fifteenth ETH, I think I probably got offers that time low ball, and it was like eight or nine, and that's like low ball, and it when yeah the floor is like fifteen because it yeah and like I don't and then know. Like at the time it's like there's no way like I know you're lowballing me on this mm-hmm. yeah and at the time like all the loans are selling for 15 and it looks like it's going up it's like our city the same mm-hmm. so it's like yeah I mean it's essentially just card trading like you gotta try to predict when the market's gonna cap out what it's gonna be looking like all that stuff mm-hmm. yeah well they're like companies so Bunch of them are gonna mm-hmm. not not exist <laughs> later down yeah. the road, and then yeah. see whether they're actually gonna be like good or not. Yeah, like you said, I think when we first talked about it, you gotta hope that you're going in like a reputable place, just because as soon as people start learning more about who's running the shop behind the scenes, that can make or break some of them. Especially if the owners are lying of who they are. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. not necessarily sh- sharing all the information of themselves. And portraying yeah. themselves as somebody else. I know that happened one time. Was like with one uh, company. I think people assumed that they were all women. Because they had like all their clip arts like women or whatnot. And then they found out it was a guys who also had several projects. So they weren't too sure of like whether they were gonna back this one up or not, or mm-hmm. they're just gonna leave it. Their their past wasn't that great either. Mm-hmm. So like no, <laughs> like, what is going on? Come on. <laughs> Would you be up for a BuzzFeed quiz? Yeah, let's do it. BuzzFeed. Yeah, I'm finally done with the Murph. Yeah, well, didn't you? Was it sub? Sub an hour? Yep. 56.49. I think I got like three minutes better time than last year. So that's good. Yeah, I would definitely say that's an improvement. What's like your goal time? I thought, was, wasn't your goal time initially just under an hour? Yeah. Yeah, because last time I got like 59, 56 or 46 around there. So mm. as long as I can get below that, I'm good. Mm-hmm. And I want to say the gym, like the, where I went, they're like real fit over there. Like their workouts are like insane. <laughs> I'm like I'm trying to. I, I haven't worked out in a month, and I just went. And they called, <laughs> oh, not the best idea. They had like vest on, and they're still beating me. Yeah. Whew. We had one guy I think finished like 33. At our gym. And that's like insane. Like what is he doing? And he had a vest on too. I gotta see the time now. To confirm. Yeah. No wait. 38. So. It was like 38. That's insane. With a 20 pound vest on. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. The fastest somebody went in ours was 36.55. 3655. I think CrossFit athletes at the games do like half something, half an hour. That's insane. So those people still have six minutes to to improve. But it's like at that point, it's just like every 10 seconds is like a crazy improvement. Okay, the fastest Murph, thirty-four thirteen. Sheesh. It's insane. Yeah. Like, and then you try to do it, you're like, what is going on? How do they go so quick? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, quizzes, 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 quizzes.
Oh yeah, I realized I gotta stay away from TikTok lives. <laughs> What'd you do this time? Uh, the gaming, uh, I have it set up. I'm telling you, gifting is so nice. <laughs> you see the people's reactions, and I like seeing reactions. <laughs> Yeah, like the bigger the gift, the bigger the reaction. <laughs> yep, that's yeah. typically how it works. <laughs> and then if they're competing with somebody else, it's just like, oh, now I'm invested in this person where they're battling another random person. <laughs> we have to uh, win. We have to win. <laughs> yeah. What are we winning? <laughs> Bragging rights. But we have to win. <laughs> uh, Currently, alone. they also made it smart about TikTok. It's like the more you donate, they give you now like a label, right? Levels. Mm. So I'm a to... level four donator. Oh, <laughs> yo, and like they, it's up to like level forty, and so like, I think you're up there, you're like above level 20, 25, 30, you're like up there as well. It's like if you go past level thirty, you're a heavy hitter. And then, like, yeah, those upper 35s spend crazy amount of money. What level are you at? You don't want to know. <laughs> are you are you a higher or lower than 10? Higher. You're higher than 10? Yes. I thought that was going to be the long shot. Oh, God. <laughs> are you, you a, a heavy hitter? Are you a 20? Uh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. I'm, I'm a... <laughs> I'm going to stop going on lives. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like... Have, have I told you how much I like reactions? Yeah. I mean, apparently a lot, Mr. Level 29 and a half. <laughs> Are you kidding? Level, I actually just um, went up to level 32 last night. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> it goes up to 40? Yeah, it goes up to 40. <laughs> but but forty oh is just like yeah insane, and and then uh, another thing is smart about TikTok, it's like those when you um if you're at, I think probably twenty and up when you go into the TikTok live it shows your level and like your name to so like twenty two mm. mm, um uh, easels coming in or something like that and so like the person who's doing the live sees that and it's like. Hey, Sawyer, how you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they hey, big so nice gifter. <laughs> oh, my God. It and then so you're like, oh, <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> and, of course, they pay attention to you because all your comments are also with that little label of, like, mm. level 20, level 30. It's like, hey, they see that. I'm like, oh. this is like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, this how it, people are <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> well then it's very entertaining for sure yeah get get your reactions mm-hmm. <laughs> it's been recorded <laughs> uh, like, what am I gonna do with these now <laughs> maybe post them on YouTube <laughs> hopefully get my money back <laughs> become like a uh, um, a Mr. Beast reaction yeah oh man if I had that type of money, I would, oh, I would love to make those videos. You'd be level 40. Oh, I would definitely be level 40. Oh, You'd be man. level 40 after one day of doing it. Those, yeah. <laughs> if I had Mr. Yeah, if I had Mr. Beast type of money, oh, man. I would make those videos. Just go on, especially go on little accounts. I would not want to try to do those big battles with, like, the oh, yeah. people. Because those mm-hmm. big battles, they have several big gifts, and those people who are on there, they, yeah, there's no reaction. <laughs> yeah. They're they're truly just in it for the money. <laughs> it's crazy because like, it's such big big gifts, and you're just like, that's like a six hundred dollar gift, or like four hundred, depending on whether you get in through the app or, or like online. Yeah, and it's just like yeah, three of them right there. What? <laughs> okay. This I uh, I sent a link. In the chat of Riverside. Whoa, that was smart. You know, just normal stuff. (laughs) 
Please wait for Sawyer to start the party. Three, two, one. This is eat around the world to reveal what kind of drink you are. Let's go for a trip around the world. I've never had people treat me so nicely. <laughs> like they don't even know me. He's like, hi Angel, how you doing? Like, whoa! <laughs> this is the first time I've seen you. Level thirty-two, Angel. Hey. <laughs> I told you, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. <laughs> okay, keep going. Sorry. All right. Now, choose an Italian dish. We'll say if you had to eat one of this is what we'll go off of. What you have to if you have to eat one of these dishes right now, which one would you most likely want to eat? So choose an Italian dish: pizza, pasta, risotto, lasagna. How's pasta and lasagna different? Um, they're both pasta dishes, but we'll just pretend like layered meat is different than sliced meat in pasta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> right. I'm going pasta. Just give me, give me some pasta. I was like between pasta and pizza, but Italian. I'm just going pizza. Ooh. What about Mexican? We got tamales, tacos, pozole, enchiladas. What's pozole? Is that like it? Kind of looks like bean soup. Hmm. I want to say it is bean soup. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what is it sort of made out of? It is a rich, brothy soup made with pork, hominy, and red chilies. Hominy. Oh. So. Hmm. A lot of people like it for the hangover cure. Ah. Uh. Mm. I'm going tacos. I'm going tacos, too. I can never have too many tacos. What about Chinese? All right. What What about Chinese? Yeah. Lo mein, wonton soup, spring rolls, or a hot pot. I've never had a hot pot before, but it just looks so interesting. It's like the boiling liquid, and then you take your food, and you dip it into the boiling liquid, and it cooks it, and then you eat it. I've seen videos of it. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do hot pot just because I wanna live life live life a little crazy. I'm going low main. I always get that when I go Chinese. <laughs> and you didn't get your noodles from Italy, so you're getting your your noodles from China. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said I always get that from them. Well, a Panda Express I do. When it's like an actual Chinese restaurant, I don't mm-hmm. I it's red rice. I thought panda I don't know. <laughs> Wait, care for me. Panda, panda chow mein noodles, 76 carbs, or 85 carbs or something. It's a crazy amount of carbs in the chow mein noodles. Really? Fun fact of the day for you. Yep. I should probably stop getting them. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so good. <laughs> so convenient, too. You just drive up. Boom. <laughs> I need to start cooking. I need, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, what about Amer- Care for American? Cheeseburger, hot dog, fried chicken, bagel, sandwich. I'm going cheeseburger. I'm going fried chicken. Mm hmm. Um, pick an Indian dish, naan, butter chicken, samosas, or biryani. Biryani just looks like an Indian take on lo mein. Mm-hmm. I love butter chicken. Butter chicken is my favorite Indian dish by far, so I'm going with that. I'm going naan. Some trying. good old bread. <laughs> I've tried, I feel like I've tried an Indian restaurant who had the the food that it came with. It was really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they, that, that's usually like their their side dish that they give with everything. If I'm not mistaken, it's kind of like their the thing that you can use to soak up the uh, like the curry and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So 
Uh, you know it's a good Indian restaurant if they have good homemade naan. Wait, Thai. Pad Thai. Oh, Pad. Curry. Ki Mao. Have you ever had Thai food? Apparently not. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I don't think I've ever had Thai food. I've tried a couple of times to go with Candace to go to Thai food, but we've gone other places instead. I mean, cow pad, how we pronounce that? It just looks like fried rice. Pad Thai looks like fried rice and noodles. Ki Mao looks like noodles. <laughs> the curry looks like rice with obviously just the hot curry on top of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and this is my white person explaining Thai food. <laughs> I can see somebody being like, don't forget the seasoning. <laughs> yeah, all the seasoning. <laughs> what are you going with? I'm going with curry. That's like the one that, that I could see myself, or I've eaten before. It looks like I've eaten before. Yeah. <sighs> I went Ki Mao. I feel like if it is truly just noodles, I don't know how I wouldn't like it. But mm-hmm. I also, I'm just hoping that it is. Uh, <laughs> um, wait, wait. How about Spanish? Paella, gazpacho, patatas bravas, spicy potatoes, or <laughs> fabada asturiana, <laughs> bean soup. This is like Spanish, Spain, Spanish, right? Yeah. I feel like paella is just kind of like a gumbo without the the liquid. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go paella. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I was like, I saw the shrimp, and that's what yeah got me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that looks pretty good. Gazpacho yeah, just looks like tomato soup, but not really soupy. Lastly, choose a Japanese dish. Ramen, sushi, tempura, sashimi. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) I like between ramen and sushi. But which one takes the victory for you? I'm probably going to go ramen because I feel like it'll fill me up more. If I eat sushi, I feel like I'll be hungry two hours later or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going ramen. I'm going sushi. Oh. <laughs> I will be hungry two hours later if that's what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> it was good at the moment, but I want more now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We like had none of the same answers. <laughs> At the end, uh, we both got smoothie. <laughs> Do you want to go through it? Yeah, fun, bubbly, and charismatic. You perfectly embody a smoothie, just like the refreshing fruity beverage. People are drawn to your playful personality. I don't disagree with it, but I'm mad that we got the same thing. Uh, I think they probably <laughs> take more time making the actual questions than, like, the results. Yeah. Probably They're probably like, like if he, we'll have four answers, if this is the majority, then this is what we'll do. There's probably, like, four actual results, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> more than was it it wasn't BuzzFeed there was like one what was that media company that was like what bankrupt and it was like all the talk like years ago I forgot what it was I don't know why I thought it was BuzzFeed for a minute but I'm like no it's not media company that went bankrupt I'm literally typing media and company bankrupt <laughs> Vice yep Vice Filed for bankruptcy on Monday. They lay out last month. That's wild. 
once worth $5.7 billion. Yeah, they're like the top, top news. It's like Vice, Vice, this, Vice, that. That's crazy. Now they're bankrupt. And they only sold only, but they only sold for two hundred and twenty five million when they were once worth almost six billion. That is crazy. I'm guessing that was also like a phase of like those media companies. You're like, we're worth this much. Like, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they won like a, a couple of big accounts and then it popped and then after they lost the accounts then just like who do we have type of thing mm -hmm. are these clicks or are these eyes actually producing results mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. poor vice media people i'm trying to think of a question of the day and i can't think of anything um oh here we go what's your favorite flavor of smoothie Ooh. Smoothie, smoothie flavors. <laughs> if I were a smoothie. <laughs> I love a good banana smoothie. It's kind of a weird flavor, but I love banana flavored things in a banana smoothie. So good. We talking about fruits. You know what I'm going to go for? You're going to go mango. <laughs> Give that guy a mango. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I had mango. I clicked on smoothie flavors and I saw mango. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like that's it. Did you go you Googled smoothie flavor? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta just think of the smoothie. Flavor. Uh, I, I don't recall the last time I got a smoothie. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. I don't remember the last time I got a smoothie either. It's been a while. Don't even I don't recall that. I don't remember like what other flavors I got. Yeah, if there's mango. I'm definitely going to mango. <laughs> oh. Boom. Awesome. Go. Well, that is the question of the day. Uh, we're curious what your guys' favorite smoothie flavor is. You can let us know in the comment section below uh, if you're listening to us on YouTube or if you're listening to us on one of the podcast platforms. You can email it to us at talkmantuesday at gmail.com. Um, and if you guys have anything you want us to talk about, feel free to let us know. We're more than happy to highlight anything uh, that you guys want our expert opinions on um, and we can give our takes on it. Um, but we appreciate you guys, as always, for taking the time out of your weeks your days to listen to us um we uh, again appreciate any feedback that you do have but we look forward to talking to you guys next week but in the meantime stay safe give somebody a hug make sure to tell someone you love them and we will talk with you guys more next week thank you guys peace